Oh, f glare. Why, why, gla stop glaring? This is a 32S BMS. 32 cells it'll take, or 32 cells in series. Loads of connectors. Now, I'm going to compare this to a summer's day. <laughs> or the BMS that I used to have. Which is, this is a 24S BMS, and it's my test one. As you can see, it's been battered and butchered to crap. This is what I use for developing the app and stuff like that. There's the size difference. It's quite a bit bigger. Not only that, but it's got more FETs in it. It's got a lot more FETs in it. I think there's about another 8 FETs in it. Or is there 10? I can't count. This is going to be on version 4. Now, there's a story behind this. When I did this thing, um, and I developed, uh, I did the f bollocks. I did version 1 of the app, and I did it basically for the Chinese market. <laughs> I did version 1 of the app, and it was really done for the Chinese market. I had no intention of selling it, and I, and I started sort of doing it for myself. Anyway. Uh, version 1 isn't upgradable to version 2 now, it used to be but it ain't anymore. And I had an email off various China people and they were saying it doesn't support 32S, it doesn't support 32S and I replied to every email and I had a lot of emails, at least two. No, I had probably about to fuck. Anyway, I was, I was getting, a, I was getting a, a shitload of emails, and everyone I replied, and I said, I haven't got a 32S BMS. And they said, doesn't work. F I don't know what I'm talking about. Get it right, start again. We'll go back that far, to there, right. I had a lot of emails, hell of a lot of emails, off China people saying, the, your, your, you, the, the app doesn't work with version uh, I had a lot of emails off Chinese people basically saying that the app doesn't work with the 32S BMS and every single one I replied with, I ain't got one. Well I didn't say that, I said I haven't got one because otherwise they wouldn't understand what I'm talking about. I had an email off one and I said I haven't got one, as I usually do, and also he said I'll send you one. So he sent me a BMS free of charge and I wasn't going to buy one because I didn't need one but I do need one for version 4. Now, I didn't tell them how easy it is to actually convert it, and I hope to God they ain't watching this. I don't think they can get YouTube in China. Um, it's literally a line of code. <laughs> and I knew it was there, and I know how easy it would be. Uh, this will work with version 2 of the app as well. The Bluetooth module, as far as I can see... I can't see it anymore. It's gone. There it is. The Bluetooth module, which is in there, is exactly the same. The protocol should be the same. Nothing should change. So now I can make version 2 of the app compatible with 32S. Easy! And that one I'm just going to use for testing. It doesn't actually do anything. Anyway, I've got wires. It came with wires. The ironic part, this is the ironic part, when they actually dispatched this, obviously he, had, he got in touch with his dispatch people or whatever, and they sent this to me with a link to my app. <laughs> Dickheads. You get the obvious, the usual wires and bits and pieces and God knows what else. If I can get them out of the f bag. So there should be 30, there's probably about 34 wires here because they put an extra few wires in. Uh, the connectors, obviously, which you need. Uh, thermal, yeah, thermal probes, absolutely everything. Two power buttons. I have to put two. Bloody hell. And some small wires. Oh, that's for the thermal things. Anyway, they're all there. That's all there, that's all there, that can go there, that can go out of the way. I've got a box. This is my box. And in my box, we haven't got natural whiting toothpaste. We actually have a 35 batteries. I ordered Samsung 25Rs and they were quite cheap and I thought, well, they're going to be fake. I've tested a couple of these at random. They are Samsung 35Rs. 
Although they don't look, they don't look, just don't, don't look genuine to me. Anyway, sorry, 25, you dickhead, fuck. Anyway, I've checked a couple of these at random and they are actually Samsung 25Rs. They have actually got the capacity. They'll handle 20, uh, is it 20 amps? Can't remember. It, uh, this is a Sony VTC5A. I don't know why, but he sent me two lots of batteries. The VTC5A, I think, is a 2600 milliamp. Is it 25 amp? I don't know. But I don't, I don't know. They're actually heavier. And they are genuine. I don't know why he's done it. I wish he could have sent me all these, because they're more expensive. Anyway, I've got 35 of them. And I only paid about uh, 30 quid, I think. And as far as I can see, they're genuine. So, I'm going to build a 32S battery to test the 32S BMS because version 4 is going to be 32S and I don't know what size yet obviously I'm not going to be able to use these because I'm going to need 5 million of them so I'm going to build myself a test battery so as I can plug it into here and get it all tested make sure the app works everyone's happy that's roughly how I'm having it that's roughly how I'm having it so I'm going to have a positive and then I'll do the negative to the positive, then the, the negative to the positive, negative. I'm not going through all that shit. Uh, that's roughly how I'm having it. Well, that is how I'm having it. I think that's how I'm having it. Possibly. Because it fits on the BMS. So it'll go nicely. Uh, whatever. Uh, so I'm gonna have that's the, gonna be the positive, that's gonna be the negative. So I've got to do these in series, 32 of the bastards. But the only trouble is I don't know if I've got a charger that's gonna charge them. Oh dear, I never thought of that. Right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. F <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna start spot welding. I've done that. I've only used um, just two welds, uh, one two weld per f f bollocks, and you know what I mean. Two, one weld, two strip, one two welds, one strip. Yeah, two gills, one. I've done that. I've done one weld on each terminal. That's all I need. Now this is 111 volts. Yeah, I'm just about to feel it. Someone has already mentioned about using DC volts. Now, if you're running high voltage, which this is high voltage, we're talking 111 volts here, and it's going to be about 120 volts when it's actually charged fully. Now, these two terminals here, that one's positive and that one's negative. Now, if I touch these, I just about feel that. 
But if I was to put, if I was to use my forearms and do it, it would bloody well hurt. Now with this, th that can still kill you, believe it or not. Um, if you, well, so okay, if you cut your thumbs <laughs> and you got blood and you do that, it'll probably kill you. It'll probably kill you instantly. So you've got to be very careful with the way you handle it. I mean, the current isn't a problem. These will do two, that, that's 111 volts, 20 amps. The ampage don't kill you, it's the voltage that's going to kill you on this. I can feel, yeah, my thumbs are getting sweaty, that's hurting. So you've got to be bloody careful with using high voltage. Um, and as you can probably see, when I started off, I got it wrong. <laughs> as usual. <laughs> What I'm going to do now, I'm going to put the balance wires on. I can get my welder out of the way, start putting the balance wires on. As you've probably seen, I've just got the, uh, the <laughs> all the battery terminals off. Well, the battery and the charge port parts, things, uh, cables, because I want to fit my own. Now, I've noticed on here, these are actually zero ohm, zero ohm resistors on this one. On the other one, which I don't know where it is, the other one hasn't. It just detects the voltage drop across the, the bus bar. So they've changed... They've changed that. Uh, I think that's about it. If you if you're gonna take these off, I warn you, you've got to have a lot of heat on it. I had to get the blow lamp on. I've got a hot air gun somewhere. <laughs> I'm a budge artist. That's they're off. So I've got to put the switch back on. I've got a wire. I better not touch that solder because it's going to be bloody hot. Um, I've got a wire, all the balance leads up, and then I can plug it in. I've got a few wires to wire, <laughs> only a couple. It will take but a minute. The first one you always start with is negative, so that's that one. That goes to the battery negative, literally to the battery negative. First one you want to look at is the battery negative. This is the battery negative wire. It goes to the battery negative. That one goes to the, ne the first positive. That one goes to the next positive, although it's black. I don't know why they don't just have all these red. So, what I've got to do is... Where are we? There's the battery negative. So I've got to put that one to there. And then I've got to take that one, and then I've got to put it to there, which is the first positive. And then I've got to take the next one, that's painful, and I've got to put it to that positive. Or, I don't need to actually put it onto the positive, I can solder it, which I'm going to do. I'm going to solder it in the middle, just a tiny little blob of solder, so as it looks a lot better and you, know, you can tuck wires through and everything else. Because that's going on there ultimately, which I've got to. I'll just place it on there and then set fire to everything. So I'm going to do that. I'm not going to bore you with all the wiring, it's going to take bloody hours to do it. So I'll come back when it's done. Well, that's that wired up. Uh, it's a bit of a, a, bit of a beast. Uh, the wiring isn't perfect, but you know, it's done. It's 100% sort of safe. It bloody hurts when you touch that. <laughs> To go with that, I've got one of these, which I'll leave a link in the description of these. These only got 220 volts, you put 12 volts in through that and you get 120 volts output. And it also does uh, variable current, 
so all I'm going to be doing is pumping 120 volts or half amp into it. That's all it'll do, unfortunately. But I'll take that bloody. I don't know why they put that on you? Because you can't read it when it's under light and shit. So I'm going to use, be using that to test that. Then I've got to try and find for version 4 130 something volt charger, which is going to be bloody interesting. Here's the app running. As you can see, that's 111.3 volts but it actually shoves it down onto the next line and then it completely messes everything up and also uh, see that it's not, it doesn't actually pull in it only pulls into 24 volts although the rest of them are actually there everything else works, all the settings they're all exactly the same that's 100% fine uh, balancing, sorry, balancing balancing works perfectly so everything works. The only things are is that main you've got the main screen there, and you've also got the charge screen, which needs sorting out. But this is version two of the app. Version one is is just a piece of piss basically. So I've got that to do. Battery's ready. Charger's ready. Everything's ready. That's all for development. I'm going to get on it now. <laughs> 